I got to get your take on North Korea as well, because Joe Biden, I'm going to skip the soundbite uh, and get straight to what the North Korean said. But Joe Biden, in his joint session to Congress, talked about the threat from North Korea and the, North Korea responded. Their senior North Korean uh, foreign ministry official said this, put out a statement to AP saying, Biden's statement clearly reflects his intent to keep enforcing the hostile policy toward the DP. RK. It is certain that the U.S. chief executive made a big blunder now that the keynote of the U.S. new DPRK policy has become clear. We will be compelled to press for corresponding measures and the time the U.S. will find itself in a very grave situation. Are we in a grave situation? Where do we stand on that peninsula? Yeah. Well, finally, we got the bombastic, blustery comments that every administration <laughs> yes has received from North Korea, you know, for multiple <laughs> generations. So it's finally here. And uh, I, I think there are some things that are different. Uh, th yes, we got the language, we hear the rhetoric, the threats are there, but there's no ballistic missiles being fired on a regular basis like they were when President Trump assumed power. And we're in a much more dangerous situation with North Korea firing ICBMs, which are missiles that can mm -hmm. reach the entirety of the of the United States and threatening to use those missiles against the United States. That resulted in the summit and and nothing came of this summit because the United States figured out the Korean North Koreans weren't really serious. I think the Biden administration uh, looking at that uh, will not move towards a certainly a, a, a big summit among the heads of states. They'll work at a much lower level to see if the if the North Koreans are going to do anything credible in terms of denuclearization, take some small steps in that area. Certainly the North Koreans are st still motivated, remove the sanctions. That's what they want. The problem we have here, Pete, is we're in a weakened position because China and Russia have both been covertly supplying North Korea. While they're in trouble, mm -hmm. I'm not going to minimize that, they're not as, as desperate as they were, even though the pandemic has had its impact. So it, it's a little different. We'll see. The North Koreans will likely to get the Biden administrations may start firing some uh, ballistic missiles for the same play they always do. Raise the yes. level of threat. Let's have some meetings and get the United States to concede. We didn't concede anything the last time. And I'm hoping that this administration does not move in that direction the same way they're moving in the direction with Iran to take off yes. those uh, sanctions. We got to stick to it here and actually strengthen them because we can police up some of the things that are not going right, even with our allied countries who have a tendency to yeah. back off yeah. after a while. Puts, Absolutely. Let's get after their spine and support it. General, reminding us that history uh, is not over. General Jack Keane, thanks a lot. Appreciate it.